So this one's going to be systems of equation applications. So these are basically word problems of what we've just learned. Now, don't be afraid for, with these word problems. If you encounter one of them, just try your best. Try to do use some sort of common sense. Most of these problems are things that we deal with in daily life. Maybe not the first one, but the other ones probably you do. Um, but always try something out. Don't leave anything blank, especially for exams. Always try some of them. Now, I'm going to focus on these three different types of problems. Um, really know them how to and really know how to extrapolate words to mathematics. OK, and if there's another way that you can think about or know how to do it, then do it that way. I would rather see the your work process instead of just following a particular recipe. So let's try out the first one. So the first one says the sum of two numbers is 21. The larger number is six less than twice the smaller number. Find the two numbers. OK, what the heck is going on here? So we want to figure out two numbers. Now, do we know what the two numbers are? No, we don't know. So we are going to just say X and Y are going to be the two numbers. OK, now what is the first thing that they say? The sum of the two numbers is 21. Well, that means X and Y, X plus Y should equal 21. That's basically what it's saying. OK, now what does it say about the larger number? OK, so now do we know which one's larger? Well, not really. Let's just pick one of them and say that's the larger number. Let's say Y is my larger number. So what does it say about Y? The larger number Y is. So whenever you see the word is, is is another way to say equals. OK, so the larger number Y is what? Six less than twice the smaller number. Okay, now whenever you see six less, like a number and then less, that means you got six less than how much of it it is. So this, it's not six minus, right? It's not six subtracted by that number, it's six less than what was the original. And what was the original? But then twice the smaller number. The smaller number, if y is a larger number, x must be the, the smaller number. So twice the smaller number should be 2x, OK? So the larger number is 6 less than twice the smaller number, OK? So now what we basically have now is a system of equations. x plus y equals 21, and y equals 2x minus six. Okay, so now notice, what do we want to use? Do we want to use elimination or substitution? Well, in this case, substitution is easier to use because one of them is already solved for you. So I already solved for y, so I know that y equals 2x minus six. Let me just go ahead and plug it in here. So I have x plus this 2x minus six is equal to 21. All right, so I got x plus 2x minus six equals 21. I'm going to combine these two, and I'm going to get 3x minus 6 equals 21. I'm going to add the 6 to the other side. And I'm going to get 3x is equal to um, 27. I'm going to divide by 3 to both sides. So x is equal to 9. OK, so now we know what one of them is. OK, x is 9. Now, how am I going to figure out the other one? Well, if I know what x is, I can figure out what y is going to be by plugging it into the other equation. So y is equal to 2 times 9 minus 6. OK, you can probably hear my cat running everywhere. OK, so 2 times 9 is equal to 18 minus 6. OK, so y equals 18 minus 6. That's going to give me 12. OK. All right, and that's the answer. How do I know? Well, the sum of two numbers is 21. 12 plus 9 gives me 21. Then the small, larger number, which in this case is 12, is 6 less than twice the smaller number. So twice the smaller number is 18 minus 6 is going to give me 12. So that checks out. OK? All right, so that's one type of problem. Now, the other type of problem is this one. The admissions fee at a small fair is $1.50 for children and four dollars for adults so if you're going to a fair right this is what, what how much it costs for adults and for children so on a certain day this is how many people enter so this 200 2200 people that's including children and adults they enter the fair and this amount is collected 5050 is collected so how many children and how many adults attended okay so let's think about uh how 
many people do we have at the fair? So we have this total amount at, at the fair. So we have 2,200 uh, total. Now, these two are composed with two different types of people, adults and children. So again, do we know how many adults and children came in? We don't. So we're going to say X is going to be children, okay, and Y is going to be adults. So the sum of these two, whatever they may be, the sum of those is going to be equal to 2,200, okay? All right, now we can't quite solve it. We need another thing, another type of equation. Well, we haven't used this yet. So we collected a total amount of 5050, okay? 5050. Okay, now how do we know? So, well, for each child, how much are we charging each child? Each child is $1.50. So 1 1.5 times X is going to give me the total amount of money uh, that you spent for each children. So for example, if one child, if I bring in one child, it's going to cost me $1.50. If I bring in two kids, it's going to call me, cost me $1.50 plus another $1.50. Okay. So it's going to be $1.50 times X. Now, what about my adults? My adults are going to be $4 for every adult that I have. Okay. All right. Now let's try to solve this problem. Okay, so what do you want to use? Elimination or substitution? It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, elimination. So let's try to eliminate which variable. So we can eliminate the variable y. Okay, so in order to eliminate variable y, I need a 4. Not only do I need a 4, I need a negative 4. So I'm going to multiply this top by negative 4. Okay, so I'm going to have negative 4x minus 4y. Okay, and then I'm going to say 2,200 and multiply it by 4. That's negative 4. It's going to give me negative 8800. The other one, it's going to stay the same. 1.5x plus 4y equals 50-50. Okay, so I'm going to get this negative 4. I'm going to add it to this 1.5, and I'm going to get negative 2.5x. This is going to go away is equal to, I'm going to take this 8800 and I'm going to add it to 5050 and I'm going to get negative 3750. All I got to do is just solve for this x, divide by this negative 2.5, divide by negative 2.5, x is going to be equal to, so I'm going to divide that by negative 2.5 and what I'm going to get is 1500. So we end up with 1500 children okay now how many adults do i have well it might be easier to use equation number one to solve so i know that x and y x plus y equals two two zero zero so i'm going to have 1500 plus y equals two two zero zero subtract by 1500 okay so y is going to be equal to so i'm going to take two two zero zero minus 1500 gives me 700. So 700 adults came to this fair and there was 1,500 children, okay? All right, so that was the second type of problem. Now let's look at the third type, okay? So the ter third type is the following. So Tyson owns owes $18,000 on his student loans. The interest rate on the bank loan is 2.5 and the interest rate on the federal loans is 6.8. So basically his student loans are composed of two different types, a bank loan and a federal loan, each at different interest rates. Okay, so basically I have student loan and you have two different types. You have federal and you also have bank loan. And bank here is at 2.5 percentage and the and the federal is at 6.9%. Okay? Now the total amount initially how much was it? Well, the total amount in loans is 18 thousand okay so what does it say now? The total amount of interest so this is total amount there's going to be interest paid. How much did he pay? He paid 1066 total. Okay. So what was the principal for each loan? So how much money were in each of the loans in the beginning? So let's say for the bank loan. Okay. Let's just say that's X because I don't know how much that is. And I wrote it here. 
for the photo alone, let's just say that's y, because I don't know what that is, okay? Now, together, these two, x plus y, is going to give me 18,000, okay? Now, how do I figure out the interest? Well, if the interest is 1,066, how much of the... Um, how can I calculate the interest? Well, whatever X is, I'm going to multiply it by whatever the interest is. So X had a 2.5 interest rate. Now, usually with percentage rates, we always want to convert them to a decimal. Now, a decimal, 2.5%, we're going to move, drop the decimal and then move it two times over. So this is going to be 0 0.025 times X. Whatever the bank loan, whatever money you have in the bank loan multiplied by the interest rate, that's going to be how much interest is acquired. Plus, now we're going to do the same thing here. This is going to be 0 0.069. Multiply this by Y. Okay. All right. So now we have another system of equations. Okay. So now what we want to do, we want to multiply one, multiply one of them. So I'm going to multiply this one by 0 0.025. Okay, and let's see what we get. So we get 0 0.025x plus 0 0.025y. I'm going to take 18,000, 18, multiply it by 0 0.025, and I got 450. And then this one, nothing's going to happen to it. 0 0.025x plus 0 0.069y equals 1066. Now I'm missing something. This should have been a negative because then nothing will cancel out. So when I take the negative, this is going to turn negative. This is negative. Let me erase that. This is going to be negative and this is also going to be negative. Okay. Now things will cancel out. This goes away. Just use your calculator for this one if you are having trouble with adding these, these decimals. Um, this is going to give me 0 0.044 y is equal to uh, negative 450 plus 1066. That's going to give me 616. So y is going to be equal to, so take that number divided by 0 0.044, and I'm going to get 14,000. So I ha took out, Tyson took out 14,000 from y, which is a federal loan. Now, how much did he take out from the bank loan? Okay, so let's use the first one. So the first one says, let me see if I can move this a little bit more. So this is going to be X plus Y, which in this case is 14,000, is equal to 1,800 or 18,000. I'm going to subtract by 14,000. Okay. So now X is going to be equal to 18,000 minus 14,000, and that's going to give me 4,000. Okay, and that's the answer. This is in bank loan. This is going to be in federal loan. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Okay, so one of these three questions will probably be on the exam. So make sure that you know how to do all three of them.